guys, how are you? So I'm here with the I Love Summer Tag. I saw Miss Comrazzi or Ingrid do this with her friends and she tagged all of her viewers. So I thought it would be a fun video to film. And I have the questions written down on this piece of paper. So I'm just going to start by answering them. So the first question is, favorite bronzer for summer? I have my favorite bronzer in this little Bare Minerals palette and this is the white hot one. This was a, a holiday palette, I believe. I'm gonna, if I can get it open. So I love this bronzer right here. And I think there's some weird like brush strokes in mine. If you wonder what that is, it's called the Skinny Dip. Looks like that. Okay, I don't think you can see that much, but it's a nice bronzer, so I like it. Another bronzer I like, I know, I picked two. You know, you're only supposed to pick one, but I chose two. And it's from Rimmel London. It's not the best, best pigment, but it's a big one, and it works on both your face and body, and it's just a nice all-around bronzer. It's from Rimmel London. It's a sun shimmer. Shimmering Maxi Bronzer. It looks like this. Mine is kind of broken because I dropped it and there I hit pat on it. So, and this is number two, Sun Love. So, question number two uh, You're relaxing in a hammock on a tropical island. What are you sipping on? Like, favorite summer drink? Hmm, this is a tough one. It would either be a really cold, nice iced tea, preferably my own homemade iced tea. I just because I know what's in it and it's not that much sugar and stuff. But I do also like to just get a can or a bottle of iced tea when I really crave it during summer, like really cold with ice. That's really nice. Also, on Tropical Island or whatever during summer, I just love a very, very cold glass of Coke with some ice and then a slice of lemon. I love that too. So those are kind of my two favorite summer drinks, I would say, when I'm outside just shitting around. And three favorite lip product. I have to use this one. There's a lot of little products I could think of. There was a lip balm I thought of and then some other colors. But this is the color I've been wearing most this summer. I've been wearing this a whole lot, so I thought this, this is probably my favorite color for summer. And it's Revlon Lip Butter in the color 90, in the color Sweet Tart. I'm wearing it on the lips today. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Looks like that. So cute. And I also did post a picture on Instagram of this. So if you wanna see some picture of it, go to my Instagram. But I really, really love this stuff. Number four, pool or beach, beach, um, beach all the time. If I had to choose between pool and beach, I will always go with beach. I'm a beach person. I, I do enjoy hanging around by the pool and stuff like that, depending on where I am. But if, it's, uh, if I can decide between pool or beach, I will always choose beach. I, it's just something about the ocean and the waves and the sand. It's just such a great place to relax and I feel like I can go to the pool pretty much anywhere, but if I am on vacation somewhere and if I have the chance to go to a really nice beach, I would choose the beach over a pool any day. Summer equals crazy hair. What's your most must-have sign product? And that was question number five. Uh, it's not really much of a styling product in that sense, but it's something that I think you need during summertime, especially during summertime. It's a leave-in conditioner because you want to protect your hair because usually when it's hot outside and when it's a hot sun, which is very strong, it's, it's important to protect your hair because it, that usually tears a lot of your hair. And I like this one from Sakakurian, Sakakurian, whatever, Stockholm. It says, I don't know what countries you can get this, but this is leave-in con leave conditioner, professional hair care. It looks like that, and I really like this one. It's really nice for your hair, and it protects my hair from damage. So I like using this. Number six: uh, sunbathing or fake tan. I know that I should be answering fake tan because 
it's not that good for your body actually to be sunbathing. Sorry, that was a text. Uh, it's not that good to like be sunbathing. So, but I have to say I sunbathe more than a fake tan. I'm not that big of a fake tanner. I'm kind of bad at doing fake tans and stuff like that. So, even though I should try to be better at it and use it more because I think that is more healthy for my skin. Uh, and I know I've been very bad with sunbathing that I forget sunscreen and stuff and I have to stop doing that. So this summer I've been very careful with always applying fake tan while I go outside for sunbathing because yeah, that's important. But I'm getting better at that. And number seven, favorite summer nail polish. Uh, this was a hard one too because I love nail polish and I have a bit too much of nail polish and some of them go bad because I haven't used them in a while. But this is the color I've been using a lot and I absolutely love this color. It's like a bright mint which I think is perfect for summer. For summer. It's kind of like a pastel color but it's bright so it's kind of like a cross between two and I just love it. It's very like in your face but I love it. And it's from Kiko Makeup Milano and it's in color 389 and it looks like that. That is what it looks like. So pretty and I think I paid like one euro for it, something like that. So it was like super cheap, super steel. Then number eight, any summer traditions? As far as traditions, we always, my family always celebrates midsummer with another family and we have done it for years. I think it's almost our like 20th anniversary. So ever since I was a little, little little girl we celebrated with them so it's a tradition we always uh, celebrate with them and we always kind of do the same thing they come here and they bring lunch and then we go somewhere and then when we get to back home we cook dinner and stuff like that so it's been a tradition for a while now and it's very it's very nice uh, otherwise i don't have like any other specific tradition i usually go somewhere during summer. When I was younger we used to always go to Finland since I'm half Finnish. Um, my grandma used to have like a summer cottage there but she doesn't have it anymore so we haven't uh, been there for like two years now but up till then we went there every single summer. Number 10. No, so, sorry, number 9. Favorite summer scent. I'm kind of bad with what summer scents and winter scents. I'm the kind of person who, oh I use whatever scents scent I feel like and all that stuff but this is a scent I have been using a lot lately and it's uh, Britney Spears Fantasy Circus Fantasy and it's the blue bottle with those little red dots on it and I just really like the scent it smells very really, like fresh but it's not like super candy it's kind of like cross it's fresh but still a little bit all more of a like and mature scents, which kind of a mix of them, which I like. I like those kind of scents. Even though I like sweet scents, I don't like when scents get way too sweet. So this is kind of like a good cross and I really like it. So number 10. Favorite barbecue food? Hmm. I guess I could go with hamburgers or ribs. Yeah, I mean hamburgers or ribs. I love ribs. Like, oh my god, they're so good, so tasty. I really like a really good burger too. So burger and like ribs for barbecue food is kind of my favorite. 11. What's your favorite summer proof product? I kind of cheated a little bit on this on this question is because when it said product I assumed it was like something like a waterproof makeup product or something like that. But I don't really use that much waterproof makeup because I'm the kind of person who usually doesn't wear makeup when I go to the pool or the beach. Uh, I guess at pool I go mostly to the beach. But I don't really, when I, when I sunbathe and stuff, I don't really wear makeup. But something I always wear in the sun is sunglasses. And technically sunglasses is a product. It's not a makeup product, but yes, it's a product. And this is a product. So, because it's something you buy and those things are products. So. My sunglasses, my beloved sunglasses, I just love these. I think I've had them for like two years now and they are from Retro Super Future and I just love them and they're handmade in Italy so and I, I don't know the original, original price of these. I got these on like an outlet and I got an amazing price and I got amazing sunglasses which I have been wearing like tons. 
So this was a really good buy. So these are my favorite sunglasses. And I chose them for a product, summer food product. Because, I mean, let's face it, you can't survive doing summer without sunglasses. So that's why I chose those. And the last question, which is number 12, is any summer vacation plans this year? No plans, tell us about your dream summer trip. I actually do have plans this summer. I haven't been away since um, spring when I went to London in May. But now, very soon, like uh, in not that far away distance, me and my family are actually going to the US of, well, US of A. So yeah, I'm going to America. So we're gonna go to LA and then we're gonna be driving around America. So we're gonna continue to like San Francisco and like Vegas and Grand Canyon and then a few stops in between. So I'm really excited about that. I am very worried about though, how much makeup I'm gonna be ending up buying. Yeah, so definitely expect like a haul in a month or so. So just so you know, I'm gonna be away for a little bit more than two weeks. So there's gonna be a while without any uploads. I just wanted to tell you guys in advance but definitely expect a haul or maybe some sort of vlogging type of video when I get home. Um, yeah, it's America, so there's kind of probably gonna be a lot of makeup buying from the drugstore. And obviously I'm gonna go crazy at Victoria's Secret, so we'll see how that's gonna plan out. But I'm also very excited to see, to see Grand Canyon and Vegas and LA, so I'm really excited. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this summer. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone!